As a pharmacist in the 21st century, you do more than just process prescriptions. Today's pharmacists use their expertise in drug therapy to provide patient-centered care to help maximize the effectiveness of medications. As a pharmacist, you are the medication expert on the healthcare team. You collaborate with the patient and the patient's other healthcare providers to promote health and healing. A career in pharmacy combines science and patient care. You are the specialist in the science and clinical use of medications. You're knowledgeable about the active ingredients in drugs, their chemical and physical properties, and their ideal uses. You understand how medications work in the body and how they interact with other substances. You also counsel patients on their safe and effective uses, as well as answer patients' questions. Roughly half of all pharmacists work in a community pharmacy setting, such as a Walgreens or CVS. These pharmacists are the most accessible health care provider. They help patients understand their medications and also promote wellness by providing health screenings and immunizations. Some of these pharmacists later advance into corporate management positions. In addition to the community pharmacy setting, pharmacists also practice within hospitals, senior assisted living communities, neighborhood health centers, managed care organizations such as in corporate offices of HMOs and PPOs, government entities such as the Food and Drug Administration or the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, colleges of pharmacy where pharmacy professors teach tomorrow's pharmacists, as well as in the pharmaceutical industry which includes areas such as research, sales, administration, and marketing. I have a very unique role in that I work as a medical science liaison within the pharmaceutical industry. And what that means as a medical science liaison is I'm a field-based scientific expert and I'm able to utilize the skills that I've attained as a pharmacist to answer and be a scientific expert for the therapeutic area I cover. We might reach out to a patient in our health plan, Mrs. Jones, who is a few days late in filling her cholesterol medication, and we'll have that conversation with her to see if there's any side effects she's experiencing, if there's any issues with obtaining the medication, cost issues, whatever the scenario might be, we'll work with her and we'll loop in her pharmacy or her physician if necessary to make sure we get her back on track taking her medication every day. Um, I round with the physicians and nurses in that intensive care unit and provide recommendations to them about the medications that are being given to our patients. And our patients are pretty much the most critically ill patients in the hospital. They're very sick. Similar to the practice of medicine, pharmacy also offers the opportunity to specialize in various areas of practice. Clinical pharmacy specializations include pediatrics, critical care, emergency care, cardiology, oncology, psychiatric care, chronic disease care, such as helping patients manage their asthma or diabetes, and many others. Some clinical pharmacy specialists work in clinics where they meet with patients to educate them, monitor their progress, and adjust medications when needed. I mainly work with patients who have uncontrolled diabetes and have food infections or amputations. And my job is basically to provide them with medical education to help them manage their condition and also provide treatment recommendations to their physicians. Other clinical pharmacy specialists work in hospitals where they collaborate with healthcare teams to provide vital medication-related interventions to optimize the care of patients. Being the emergency department, we work with a large variety of patients every day, from the ambulatory patients who we counsel on medications going home, to the critically ill patients who are at the bedside helping to resuscitate. My area of specialization is cardiology. So I work with a team of cardiologists and other nurses and social workers um, to take care of patients that have advanced cardiac disease states. Most pharmacists of today have earned their Doctor of Pharmacy degree. 
You may be familiar with medical doctors who earn their MD degree, dentists who earn their DDS degree, optometrists who earn their OD degree, pharmacists earn their PharmD degree, so they may also be called doctor. To earn a PharmD degree, approximately six years of college education is needed. The most typical path begins with at least two years of pre-pharmacy coursework at an undergraduate college or university. Though not required, you may earn your four-year bachelor degree at this time. Then there are three to four years of graduate level pharmacy education in which you become immersed in learning the science of medications along with patient-centered care. Your pharmacy education includes experiential education, also called rotations, where you observe and begin working under practicing pharmacists in a variety of specializations and patient environments. These experiences can help you decide which of the numerous career opportunities in pharmacy you'd like to pursue. With more Americans seeking health care in the increasing complexity of patient care and medication therapy, the demand for pharmacists is likely to remain high for some time. So is a career in pharmacy right for you? It may be if you possess the following. Have an aptitude for math and science. Enjoy helping people. Be interested in a career in healthcare. Possess good communication skills. Have high ethical standards. And possess a natural desire to learn. Pharmacy can be a very rewarding career with a wide array of career paths to choose from. All of them strive towards using your expertise in medications to make a difference in people's lives.